I'm busy rebuilding my Jeep 4 litre engine over here and uh, one of the tools which I'm going to need is um, something to help me prime the oil pump once I have the oil pump installed. Now I looked online and I didn't find exactly what I was looking for so I've decided to make my own tool. So the Jeep oil pump over here has this slotted section and this is driven off uh, either the distributor, the uh, cam sensor over here that I have or the OPDA if you have a newer model. So uh, what happens is it slots into there and then as it rotates on the gear over here the oil pump is driven. So what I would like to do is uh, make a tool that can slot in there and um, I found this screwdriver, it's a 3 8 10 inch screwdriver. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the head of the screwdriver off over there and this is going to make a perfect fit to fit in and drive the uh, oil pump over here. Now what I will need to do is prevent it from slipping out like, it's, like I'm showing you over there and stabilize it over here in the block. So I'm going to go and make a little bush that will sit over there and then see if I can find a little ring that can sit on the edge of this uh, screwdriver over here and just hold the tip of the screwdriver in the slot like that. So the first thing I'm going to do to get started is cut the handle off the screwdriver over here. Alright, so with the handle off, we can now go and uh, put this screwdriver in the lathe and just clean up the edge over here so that we have a nice clean end and make sure that it'll fit into our drill. So we're going to use a battery operated drill to drive the uh, pump. We just want to make sure that the screwdriver's shank will fit into the chuck, which it does. So uh, we're going to go ahead now, put this on the lathe and just clean up this edge so that we have a little bit of a chamfer over there and then uh, proceed to the next step of making the bushes that we need. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the sharp edge that we uh, made while we were cutting with the grinder off the um, shank of the screwdriver. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use some aluminum bar stock and we're going to turn it down to that size on a T-hat profile so that we can slip it inside of there and then drill a hole through that we can um, slide the screwdriver through. So we're going to go ahead, cut a piece of this uh, stock off and then uh, use that to make the adapter that we need to fit in there. Unfortunately, I don't have a very elegant saw to do this, so I'm just going to use my sawzall to cut the stock. <laughs> Right, so we've made up this bush now. The uh, screwdriver's uh, shaft fits snugly into the bush over there. And then uh, this entire unit now slips into the block over there. So uh, we are now able to rotate this. So all that's left to do now is to make sure that we have a way to attach the screwdriver to the oil pump over there. So we have temporarily put the oil pump in here. We're gonna flip this uh, block back over again and then see if this special tool of ours will work. Right, so as we put the oil pump on, what we noticed is that there's already a, a little guide at the bottom over there. So we don't need, even need to make an adapter to center the screwdriver. What we'll see is, as I um, get the screwdriver to engage down there, it is actually fixed and this can't move. So this is absolutely perfect. We'll be able to just grab our drill over here and rotate this. There is no need to do anything further. So this tool turned out to be really, really simple. It's just a screwdriver with a machined push to hold it in place.